Well, today we're going to test the E3 spark plug. Uh, this is a different type of a spark plug, and I'll open it up and I'll show you. But it says on it that it uh, provides quicker starts, more power, saves fuel, reduces emissions. I don't know whether all that's true, but we're hoping it'll work. Actually, it does match the generator, so maybe, maybe it'll work. But uh, the point is that um, if you haven't watched our prior video, you should watch the prior video on the Powerland generator. This, is, this comes as a natural gas generator, and it's a good test bed because natural gas is difficult to ignite. Uh, we, uh, if you look at the prior video, you'll see that we, couldn't, we could not start this generator on, on uh, natural gas by pulling it. It was just not possible. Then when we tried it the second time, and, we, and uh, after the engine had heated up, we were able to start it after, I think it was on the eighth pull. Uh, so we're going to test it. Hopefully this will work. Uh, you don't always need this. Uh, what I usually do is, on my generators, if I, on my 20 kilowatt, and on my portable with the electric start, I put in this, uh, the Briggs & Stratton uh, Platinum Spark Plug. Uh, this provides, from what I understand, also better sparks. We're not going to test it today, but uh, I don't think it would completely take care of this problem. I think we're going to try this. Uh, E3 spark plug and see if we can start the generator. And it's important because this generator, although it has electric start, uh, it doesn't charge the battery, it doesn't come with a battery charger, and the only way to charge it is basically to hook up a trickle charger to this. And, uh, you know, I don't know if the owner's going to be on top of this, if he's uh, really going to make sure the battery's charged. He's not that familiar with generators, and uh, so uh, we really want to make sure we can start it on a pull start. So we'll try that out. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take out the stock park spark plug. And by the way, on this generator, the, the model is, this is E3.22. Uh, I did the research on it. I cross-referenced this spark plug. It's like an NGK spark plug. I got the number for, for Briggs and that. Basically, this, this I think it's like an RN9YC or N, it's one of these, it's one of these, the, the RN12YC. I think it was the RN9YC, but this replaces them. And uh, it says Diamond Fire Technology, a lifetime guarantee. We'll test it out. So first you want to take out the old spark plug. You pull, if you can focus in, this is a cover. You just pull this off. Then you use a, uh, a long ratchet. This is a 13-16 ratchet set. And you basically put it on top. You loosen it. It's not that tight. It doesn't have to be that tight. And you take it out. Take it out by hand. Oh, it's not that easy. Okay, this is the spark plug. It says on it FC F I'm sorry, F six T C. What's that symbol? I, I forgot. Nuclear? Could be. It looks like that. Oh, actually, look at the spark plug here. It's a triple. Uh, it's a triple head design. Can you focus in on that? Yeah. That's interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Maybe it's a good spark plug. It's actually pretty clean. On natural gas, it usually is. So uh, we'll, what we'll do is, why don't we take a look to see what kind of spark this produces? Then we'll take a look at what kind of spark the Briggs and Stratton Platinum uh, spark plug produces. That has one head. And then we'll take a look at the E3, which has two heads. Maybe the original with three heads is better. I don't know. So what I'll do is I'll uh, plug this in. And we'll ground it against the frame. I think you touch it against the frame. And then uh, you crank it, and I'll take a look at it. Just hit the electric stock for like three seconds, but I'll tell you when. Let me get, let me get in the right. Wait, not yet. And then we gotta get it good. Hold on. Can't get a good the lighting. Hold on. Should we be doing this in the rain? Right, hold on. <laughs> That's a good question. Maybe you should hold the spark plug. I don't think I should hit anything. Okay, uh, now, hit it, just crank it. Okay, that's a spark. Not bad. Not bad. I saw a couple of sparks in each direction. Hold this. Now let's test the uh, platinum plug. It's starting to rain on us. Okay. 
Let's go. Wait, not yet, not yet. Hold on. Let me get a good view of that. Hmm. Hold on. I can't get a good. I want to get back, a clear view. Back. Further back, I think. Yeah, it's starting to rain on us. Okay, crank it. Alright, I think the I think the original spark bug looked better than the than this. Alright, let's try the EJ EG the E3. Okay, hold on. I just wanna hold on, not yet. Okay, now. Oh! Ah, I got shocked. One more time. Hold on. Go. Okay. Couldn't really tell. But uh, let's try it out. Now, when you're putting in a spark plug, what you want to do is you have to gap it. This is between 0.28 and 0.31 inches. It's actually point. 0 to 8 inches. You put that in. Let's cap it. Okay. Now, you want to put it in by hand because if you're not careful, you could cross thread this. And that and you'll never get it out. You'll destroy everything. You'll destroy the engine. So you want to put it in as much as possible by hand. And you want to feel it. It should just go in. It might have a little resistance, but you should feel it turning. Okay, so you want to do it by hand. And the way I learned as a kid, you do it as much by hand as possible. And then when you can't do it anymore, I can still do it. Ah, it goes in deep. You, want, you can take your ratchet, take the ratchet off, and just put this on, and then turn it in by hand. You should feel it. You shouldn't feel... It should feel smooth. Then you can't, when you can't turn it anymore, just give it like a half, a quarter to a half turn. That's it. It's not like the tire bolts on your car where you really have to overdo it. Just do it lightly. Put this on. Okay, now what we're going to do now is we're going to, is the gas on? No. Turn the gas on. And what I'm going to do is, um, first of all, let's let the gas in. And if we can get this started by hand, that would be a tremendous gain. And, and then the spark, we, we could say the spark plug is really worth it. Because there was no way at all we could get this uh, started by uh, the pull start. So we're letting the gas in, it's got to go about 10 feet. Is, is it coming out? You smell it a little? No. But I hear it. But I hear it. Oh, also. Alright, we want to make sure we have gas in the engine, otherwise... Oh, it's it on run, right? Is it on run? Yeah. Okay, good. It should have been on run, otherwise yeah. you wouldn't have gotten a spark right. off the spark plug. Okay, now if you smell gas, what you want to do is you want to make, you don't want to start it when you smell gas because it's possible the gas outside the generator could ignite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step uh, a little further away, about four or five feet, and uh, okay, Avi, you can start the generator. <laughs> One, two, three. Whoa!
So, what we, so far what we saw is on the first time we could just could not get it started on the old spark plug. In this one it started on the, which one, the second or third pull? Third pull. With third pull. So now we know, now uh, uh, with the old spark plug, starting it with the engine warm, we were able to start it on the eighth pull. So let's see if you can start it now. Oh, first of all, we did make a mistake. We should have, uh, before shutting it off, we're supposed to, to uh, I shut to, off the power. You shut the power? Huh? It has the power on the, no, on Great, the generator. Great, right. It has, a, it, has a, it has a power shut off on the generator. So you don't actually have to pull out the, the heater before you shut it off. Okay, so let's try to start it up and see if we can do better than eight pulls on this, uh, this time. You know, it could be I also changed the, um, how do you tighten this so I could just, uh, switch it a little bit. Hold on, you know, let me, let me, before you do it, let's stop for a second. Let me add gas. Yeah, that, that, it, how do you have, tighten the screwdriver so I could unscrew it? Yeah, you can just go either way. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's bring that back. Because we forgot, let me, I forgot to prime it. Okay, now let's try to st start it by hand. It's a big improvement. You really don't need the battery as much. You can start it just uh, with the pull start. Yeah, we, we couldn't start it with the pull start at all the first time. Right, 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 at all. We couldn't even start it. So at least if the battery's dead, you know you can always start it now. So we'll keep we'll keep the spark plug. Again, it's an E3, 3.22. Tells you what it replaces. Seems like a winner to us. <laughs>